Welcome to the latest lesson in our series on the laws of exponents. This lesson is on multiplying powers to powers. Okay, so as usual, let's focus our thinking by starting out with a question. How can we raise a power to another power? Or we could ask, how can we raise one exponent to another exponent? So with those questions in mind, we're ready to start our conceptual journey. Now let's pretend that this orange circle represents some value, whatever you want it to be. Now if I raised it to the fifth power, I could expand it as five orange circles being multiplied together. That would mean the same thing. Now what if instead of an orange circle, I had something like four squared being raised to the fifth power? Well, the same relationships associated with the exponents would apply, and I would treat that 4 squared the same way that I treated that orange circle, and I would replace each one with 4 squared. So now instead of 5 orange circles being multiplied together, I have 5 4 squareds being multiplied together. Now to push this a little bit further, I know that 4 squared can be rewritten as 4 times 4 and I can rewrite the rest of the four squares in the same way. So I replace each four squared with four times four. And now I have one long expression with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fours being multiplied together. So this is equal to four to the tenth power. Ha <laughs> ha, cool. The question now is how do we use the exponents of two and five and end with a result of 10 in the simplified answer. Hopefully you saw that multiplying two times five does result in 10. And this relationship actually is going to be another law of exponents that applies whenever you raise one power to another power. So this law states that whenever raising an exponent to another exponent, in this case, x to the a raised to the power of b, it's going to equal x to the a times b, the product of the two exponents. So if, for example, we replace those variables a and b with actual numbers, in this case, x to the seventh, raised to the third power. Using this law of exponents, we would have seven times three as our new exponent, which would equal x to the 21st power, which is our simplified form answer. So in addition to understanding the concept, the main part of the procedure to remember here is that when you raise an exponent to another exponent, you multiply them together. And that's all there is to it. Thanks again for stopping by. Please again, feel free to check out our other lessons on the laws of exponents. And have a good one. We'll see you next time. Thanks again, guys. I'm glad that you like our video lessons. If you don't know, we have an awesome, awesome, really awesome Instagram page, at MashupMath. That's the first thing we ever started with. So we have some really cool sports math posts. Uh, we do daily math tips, all kinds of study tips, tips for parents, tips for teachers. You're really going to like it. Very artistic, very colorful, very vibrant, very cool. Check it out. See you next time.